I'm Ella with Young Entertainment, and it's so nice to meet and chat with you, and congrats on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> so just to kick it off, um, I know you both have a couple shows under your belt so far, so what is the single most important thing you do to prep for an, any audition? I read the books when I was young, so I just know the character, and uh, I knew the characters, so that was a good uh, help for me um for the preparation and um at first it was really um funny it was a secret that it's saved me and it's the books and um it's called Stuart college and which is really out of context really i don't know and um i just uh, and uh, that was I, I don't know honestly sometimes i'm like why did they choose us and why did they choose me <laughs> um but um, it was out of context, those, those scenes, and, um, um, and yeah. Awesome. And Damien? Um, for me, it's really about figuring out the objective of the character. Like, I always, I always need a goal that he, he's striving for over the entire, like, course of the story. Mm -hmm. And then also for the specific scene to have an objective. And then I guess it's, for me, I love doing emotional diaries. So just like letting the pen decide of what's coming up. For me personally, connecting to that goal and then trying to take whatever came up to, you know, use that, to put that in the scene. And then always just doing that emotional diary, I guess like 10 minutes before, you know, you head into that audition just gets me emotionally, I think like to the place where I really need to strive for that goal. Awesome. I think it was hard because you, you you don't have like a lot of information for the auditions. You just have a scene and you don't have like a lot to, to work with. And and when you got the message that it's saved me the books, it's a book adaption. So you have a lot of material to work with. Yeah, um, that was really helpful. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, thank you both for sharing. Uh, another question that I had. So I was wondering, uh, what are three words you would use to describe each other's characters? So Damien, how would you describe Ruby? And <laughs> How would you describe James in three words? Intelligent, stunning, and heartwarming. Heartwarming? Yeah. <laughs> um, James, arrogant. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, I broken? came up with good ones. <laughs> broken, <laughs> but also um, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's all mean. It's just I, I just have mean words in my head. It's like, <laughs> but also ready to. It was to... so fun shooting with Harriet. It was great. <laughs> I can see that. Um, potential. Uh, that's a good that's a good one to end on <laughs> after watching the series i can i can kind of see where you get a lot both of those a lot of those yeah. answers that's awesome yeah. <laughs> potential is the nicest that you got oh sorry cool so i guess kind of going off of that um you know while working together what's one thing you learn from each other you know while working on this project whether it be an acting tip or just something personal um just anything you learned I think we both had a connection that we pushed us to the limit and we just had a similar way to go into character and um, we trusted us. I think that was really important too. So I think I just, and I think that's why this connection worked out and why this this relationship or this, this, this characters worked out because we had like this trust in each other. And I always, I always thought that I already go far for that, but then I worked with Harriet and she was, just going all the way with her character. Um, and so she kind of didn't leave me any choice but to, you know, go that way with her. Um, it was really like action. It was intense. Yeah, it was really intense. <laughs> and I guess like filming those intense scenes and kind of that enemies to lovers, you know, chemistry on screen, were there any like fun bonding activities or things you did offset to kind of build that chemistry that's shown through on screen? We went out for dinner a lot. We just, um, <laughs> I remember we went uh, with a boat on, on, on a sea here in Berlin. So that was um, really cute as well. That was the beginning of, of our time. Um, that was our connecting um, time. We had a favorite wine at the restaurant. 
Oh, paper? Yeah. What paper? What? No, we had a favorite wine at the restaurant. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which which was the wine? It was a Sicilian wine. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Cool. And I guess kind of going off of that, as actors, um, what do you do pre to prepare for you know kiss scenes on screen? Did you have an intimacy coordinator, or how did you how did you build that up? We had an intimacy coordinator, which was really helpful. And we talked about like boundaries, what do you want, what do you see in your characters, what do you see in the scene. And it was all planned, so it was nothing a surprise or you know, um, so um that was really not really because we rehearsed it all with our hands. Yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> Kissing with our hands. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's cool. Yes. <laughs> For you both, what was your favorite favorite part of playing each of your characters? I think for me it was, I mean, um, for example, the scene on the lacrosse field or the scene on the on the staircase where we we see his walls crumbling and we see his whole conflict, you know, or the whole house of, you know, this carded house that he built so hard to defend and this whole legacy. We see that crumble because he's no longer able to hold on to that structure he built, but he wants to go for that love. You see that dissonance in him. And then actually, you know, deciding to go for that love um, that was uh, very rewarding to play. I mean, very difficult, very emotionally mm -hmm. challenging, but um, that's also the fun part, I guess, of the job. And Harry, do you have anything to add about playing Ruby? For me, it was to, to make this, this love believable that she's like falling in love with someone she, she thought she hated. Mm -hmm. And, and um, you know, that she's coming from like, she's living in her own world. She's this ambitious girl. She has like all these prejudices about, about him. And then she's falling in love with him. And to play like this emotional side and to, to play like her, her pain and her inner conflict and to make her, to make, I, I, it was really important for me to that the audience will feel comfortable with her and that we see her pain and, and her thoughts. And that was, that was tough. That was hard sometimes, but um, also fun. <laughs> well, thank you both for sharing and again for taking the time. Um, and congrats on the series again. I really enjoyed it. Thank, thank you so much. much. Thank you.